back to my channel if this look kind of looks familiar um i may or may not have changed just a little bit for this look and you know because you know i'm pre-filming just in case you know school gets hectic so i have some content for you guys but yeah um thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel and today's video is going to be a hair care routine slash hair q a um just giving you all the details about my hair what it's been through and what i do for like upkeeping and just taking care of it um all right so let's talk about my hair um i i love bleaching my hair everyone knows this that is the reason why i finally dyed it back to a darker color and if you guys are wondering what color i did um it is not black because i have you lasting me um it's technically a tone like a dark just a dark tone there's no um red in it at all because my hairstylist didn't want my hair to get brassy and all that so it is um a three to four level three and four mixture and then yeah, they just mix half half and like boom um if you guys didn't know my hair looked like this before insert picture right here um it's, it was just like a i would say like a level eight nine blonde it was pretty darn light pretty darn light and i just had an overall global bleach i had it at like a, a I would say like a beigey blonde color and um i had shadow roots so like it was like one or i think it was like around one inches of roots all around so like when it grew out it wouldn't be problematic but like i didn't even let it grow out because i'm just so <laughs> i just like to change my hair color and that is the reason why i'm saying goodbye to bleach 2021 um i've been bleaching my hair for the last oh my god almost almost three three years and you know no two two years three years something like that and yeah i'm just done with the maintenance the upkeep and i'm just gonna do like dark hair some contrast highlights and all that stuff you know what i mean like just a little bit more simple no more global bleaching because the damage is real even though i talk about how my hair is not that damaged it's not that damaged right now because you know i've cut off most of the fried parts but it's global bleaching is still very very damaging oh i forgot to mention that like these as you can see, you'll see like a little bit of um, highlights in my hair. It's technically low light because I was blonde already. So yeah, um, it's just, they just rinse the color through my hair when they're rinsing out the dye. So yeah, I have some contrasting pieces just so it looks a little bit more dimensional when I'm like, when I put it up, it doesn't just look like a blob of dark, darkness on my head. Yeah, so pretty much that is um, what my hair is right now. And in regards to no more bleaching, I think if you don't bleach on top of each other, your hair is fine. But I think even though like I went to a really good salon, um, I consistently took care of my hair. I got my roots done whenever it was like, I would say like six to eight weeks. Every six to eight weeks, my roots were fresh. They were done. Um, there's still going to be like a slight overlap of um, your grow out and like your previous line hair and that's where like the breakage comes in and like no matter what you do um i think global bleaching is going to be damaging no matter how good your upkeep is unless like you're like a level like 9 10 or like a 9 naturally and you're just like bleaching to like a 10 11 you're fine right but if you're going from a really dark natural color um to a light color it's going to be a lot of maintenance your hair is probably going to break at one point and yeah it's just be aware um my hair honestly didn't have much breakage when i first went blonde um i used to dye my hair like every month i never bleached it before but i would always dye like different tones of browns because i don't know weird i was at home too so like i'm pretty comfortable doing my own hair just not when it comes to bleaching so yeah um i would honestly always like dye my hair like different freaking colors and then like i don't know one day i was like fuck it i want to be blonde so i went blonde and you know it was really fun i wanted to go lighter and i did go lighter at one point i went to platinum when i went to platinum that's like when all like i didn't realize it was breaking until like I would, i'll show you i have some breakage still so like this top layer of my hair is a lot shorter like i could pull pieces out than like the rest of my hair because of breakage um and yeah it got really bad like i would say after i went platinum and then i dyed my hair again like a month i would say like two, a month and a half after i went platinum i dyed it again i went back to like a light brown color because i was going to california and just, I, I don't know 
but yeah I dyed it again and like that's when my hair was really really fried so like from like January of like 2020 to like I would say um until like June my hair was just fried I was just growing it out and just letting it sit during quarantine um but yeah my hair got really really fried and I had to cut everything off again like I had to start from here like literally here again because of how fried my hair was and yeah pretty much that is the background of my hair just damaged um it's been through a lot and i'm gonna talk about how i do upkeeping now so yeah let's get started so here are some things that i've changed since the last video i made so like if you guys want to compare like i guess like my hair care routine from last year to now um when it comes to like taking care of it i wash it still like two times maybe once a week um it really depends on how like nasty my scalp is but i pretty much train my hair to like be very very um low maintenance in terms of like washing <laughs> um i also learned to blow dry my hair and it's okay to use hot tools because if you look back to my older videos i wouldn't i would refuse to like <laughs> blow dry my hair so it looks like a frizz ball like my hair honestly um, got more damage from me not drying it and let me explain so when your hair is wet it is in the most vulnerable stages of it's like pretty much how it how it is how it is it's just vulnerable when it's super super um wet so if you let your hair just like stay wet for a very long time it's actually more damaging towards your hair because you could like when you brush through your hair that's damaging it when it's wet especially if you have chemically treated hair um if you are like laying down on it like your hair can literally break just from you just like doing stuff with wet hair so highly recommend you get you get a good blow dryer um i really want the dyson one but you know pack is looking uh, a little like I, I don't think i can afford that but yeah <laughs> but yeah um highly recommend a good hair dryer and a good straightener um you do not have to straighten your hair if your hair naturally drives like silky smooth straight i unfortunately have really naturally dry frizzy hair prior to chemically treated hair that's just how my hair is um i have a natural curl in my hair um, i'm not saying like it's curly but there's like a wave to it and it just messes up because it's just hella frizzy um so yeah i always like to go um and dry my hair um obviously low heat is a little bit better but you know you gotta do what you gotta do um but yeah i would always go through with the i would always dry my hair once i get out of the shower and now um Oh wait, I would always use microfiber, towel, dry it off, and then um, blow dry it. And then I like to run a straightener through my hair. But I realized that like straightening my hair is a lot more damaging than me just curling it. So recently I've been just like, when you go down on the curler, have you seen like those TikToks with like the curling videos? But yeah, I'll probably like enter a video here if I can find one. But yeah, you just want to go down with a straightener. Just go straight down like loop it and go down um i don't recommend going this way but i would recommend going like straight down but with the loop still so maybe i'll find a video of whatever i'm talking about but yeah that's pretty much how i get like that super natural curl like this um i just think i just think it looks better because of how my hair is like cut and styled so yeah that's like my preferred style these days and sometimes i usually like my hair up too so like it's really really nice and in regards to products i still use the same shampoo um i still kind of use purple shampoo here and there i don't know why i think it like for my highlights i think i kind of need it but yeah um conditioning treatments are all the same i haven't changed that i've just been using a lot more moroccan oil on my hair so um that's great also uh these products haven't changed so i'm just gonna list the same products i listed in the previous hair care routine from like a year ago and yeah um I have been ditching like those super um, tight rubber bands and the one I have right now, my mom actually gave it to me, it's from Slip, so yeah, um, these are silk elastics so it's really really not going to damage your hair and you're just going to be really bougie with your hair tie too. Like, it's silk in your hair, right? I um, highly recommend using a silk pillowcase too. That's something I have to get. I've just been lazy. But yeah, um, that's pretty much my updated hair care routine. 
Um, if you guys want to see me actually like do my hair care routine, um, I would love to show you guys, but uh, let me know if you're interested down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning into this video. If you guys have any hair care questions, um, leave a comment below. Um, all the products and everything I mentioned will be in the down bar. It'll be linked below. And yeah, have a wonderful day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and to follow me on my other social medias. Again, all listed down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.